acute abdomen. Acute abdomen refers to a sudden, severe abdominal pain, which can be caused by a number of conditions. Acute abdomen is one of the common conditions seen in the emergency departments. Roughly 7-10% to of visits to the emergency are of acute abdomen. The definition of acute abdomen. It's an acute onset of abdominal pain. Some patients may point to a specific area of pain in the abdomen, while others have a generalized abdominal pain. There are many underlying conditions and reasons for acute abdomen. There are many causes that, if not diagnosed and treated, can be serious and life-threatening. There is also a group of conditions that can cause acute abdominal pain, but are not that serious. The associated symptoms help doctors to narrow down the list of the causes. The investigations, such as blood tests, ultrasounds, CT scans, and x-rays, help to confirm the diagnosis. The treatment then can be carried out according to the cause. When a patient presents to the emergency department with an acute abdomen, the main goal is to identify if the cause is of a serious nature or not. Causes of acute abdomen. There are many causes which can be classified in different ways. Some of the common causes are acute appendicitis, renal or ureteric colic, intestinal obstruction, or strangulated hernias, acute cholecystitis, peptic ulcer disease, gastric ulcers, ectopic pregnancy, torsion, pancreatitis, mesenteric adenitis, common in young children, diverticulitis. And we will discuss each of these conditions in separate videos. The pain is frequently described with reference to the site of pain in the abdominopelvic quadrants, or sometimes with reference to abdominopelvic regions. For example, epigastric pain can be caused by a totally different condition as compared to any pathology that will cause pain in right lower quadrant. It's therefore important to understand these regions and quadrants. The abdominopelvic cavity is subdivided into four quadrants and nine areas. The quadrants are labeled by location, the right upper, right lower, left upper, and left lower quadrants. The nine regions are smaller than the four abdominopelvic quadrants and include the right hypochondriac, right lumbar, right iliac, epigastric, umbilical, hypogastric, left hypochondriac, left lumbar, and left iliac divisions. The perineum is frequently considered as the tenth division. The purpose of the abdominal divisions is to describe not only regional anatomy in the abdomen, but also to help clinicians understand which organ and tissues may be involved in illness depending upon which region experiences pain. The site of pain is very helpful in guiding clinicians towards a particular pathology. For example, epigastric pain will be caused by totally different condition as compared to the condition that will cause pain in the right lower quadrant. Generalized abdominal pain can be caused by early appendicitis, intestinal obstruction, acute pancreatitis, mesenteric ischemia, or peritonitis. Epigastric pain can be caused by perforated peptic ulcer, acute pancreatitis, myocardial ischemia. Right upper quadrant pain can be caused by cholecystitis and biliary colic, acute cholangitis, appendicitis in a pregnant woman, perforated duodenal ulcer. Left upper quadrant pain can be caused by splenic rupture, acute pancreatitis, perforated gastric ulcer. Left lower quadrant pain can be caused by sigmoid diverticulitis, ureteric colic, ovarian cyst, ectopic pregnancy, pelvic inflammatory disease, or ischemic colitis. Right lower quadrant pain can be caused by acute appendicitis, ureteric colic, ovarian cyst, ectopic pregnancy, diverticulitis, mesenteric adenitis, pelvic inflammatory disease. Lower abdominal pain can be caused by pelvic inflammatory disease, ectopic pregnancy, acute bladder retention. Radiating pain can be caused by, if radiation toward the back, aortic aneurysm, pancreatitis, perforated peptic ulcer, or acute aortic dissection. And if radiating towards the groin, ureteric colic, testicular torsion in males.